Hello everyone, welcome to Investance Research. So as a part of ProTrader series, previously we had done financial markets and came to know uh, where does stock market stand in those financial markets. Later we had done history of stock exchanges and so now we'll be beginning uh, the Indian stock exchanges, right? So the, the very first part of uh, when you are beginning a trading is to know about stock market index, right? So whenever uh, you'll be beginning or uh, going to trade the first thing you will be noticing is that there are two indexes that is sensex and nifty so let's see what this indexes are right so let me first tell you what index actually is so index is nothing but it's a measurement of value of section of stock right so it gives you a measurement of how uh, the market is doing what are uh, people's sentiment in the market and other factors right so we'll come to uh, the details right first let's understand the index so uh, let me give you a layman example uh, so uh, th example uh, when you go for ecg so ecg gives you a certain graphs right about your body measurement so what exactly it is right it is an index telling you that how your body is performing at certain uh, under, under certain conditions and under certain parameters right so it gives you so and body temperature so whenever you put down your thermometer so it gives you a body temperature that it is okay 98 degrees celsius or 101 degrees celsius so uh, based on 98 which is normal and based on 101 you say that okay you have fever so you derive some indications from from that uh, index right like thermometer like your ecg so so similarly in stock market there are two indexes that is nifty and sensex so nifty uh, sensex is basically sensitivity index so so ha hence the name is derived as sensex okay so so this is basically the stock indices right so stock indices are basically categorized into market capitalization uh, where there is all small cap mid cap large cap so certain categorization is there so there there is certain methodologies of uh, this index calculation that is market capitalization and free float market capitalization uh, the important point here is the people who are uh, not from finance background it's very much okay for them not knowing how this market capitalization or free float market capitalization is calculated okay though i'll be telling it but uh, it's not necessary uh, let me tell you because uh, when you see the index you just derive the value out of it you don't need to go how that is calculated and and it doesn't really impact the trading of yours okay so uh, so there are different categorization based on which the stock indices are made that is market capitalization the uh, like small cap mid cap and large cap companies are there okay uh, so how this market capitalization works is that it calculates all the number of shares that are available for selling right so uh, and the difference between free float market capitalization and market capitalization is that the free float market capitalization won't include the shares already sold in the market okay so market capitalization will include all the active that are available for selling and also the inactive shares that are uh, not available for selling right so, so let me give you a small example so if suppose the company has 10 shares okay out of uh, which five shares are available in the market and five has already been bought right so and the stock price of that company is uh, 100 rupees say so the market capitalization of that uh, company will become uh, thousand rupees so it the formula actually goes like this that is the number of sh inactive shares plus active shares multiplied by your stock price so that becomes your market capitalization we have good so always in trading you have to take care that you uh, if you want to be a safe trader and a good trader you trade uh, companies which has huge market capitalization like suppose say itc reliance and tcs always keeps on uh, changing their position from first to second like they have market capitalization of 4 lakh crores right itc has around 1.5 lakh crores tata motors has around 1.5 lakh crores so the market capitalization is important because uh, fundamentally i'm talking right now uh, because to know the company's strength right so it 
hardly can be manipulated if you uh, trade stocks which has very less market capitalization say 50 53 50 to 60 crores which basically comes in small cap companies so certain companies are easy to manipulate right nobody can manipulate uh, reliance nobody can manipulate uh, until and unless it is an insider trading and people have lot of money right or FIRDI right so so you have to be a selector of heavy market capitalization companies so uh, and uh, the another parameter of indices is that sector or industry so so the index is is also based on sectors and industry right to which it belongs say automobile pharma it etc i'll come to that in detail and there are broad market indexes right so broad market index is nothing but uh, basically made of 100 good stocks so uh, nifty which is made up of 50 stocks sensex which is just made up of 30 stocks so then there are broad market indexes which are made up of say cnx 200 which is of nifty so 200 good companies uh, nifty next 50 uh, bsc 500 so 500 good companies so these are broad market indexes where all these stocks are there uh, based on their good performance and uh, other parameters and from different industries and sectors just to represent the sentiment of the market right then there comes free float market capitalization so free float market capitalization uh, method is used uh, which which from which the bsc sensex and bs in cnx nifty is made right whatever you will be seeing in, in on the news channel or in moneycontrol.com the sensex and nifty toggling between a lot of points up or down right so so it is calculated by free float market capitalization method will uh, will come to in detail so then there are world indices dow jones nasdaq s p 500 which are indices of us so it's very important that you take care of this indices as well because uh stock market is a global village right now so everything is impacted by every country and there is so so much interconnections uh in stock market between these countries that everything gets impacted if say dow jones falls or nasdaq falls so it impacts to indian indexes as well not necessary but 90 percent of the time yes right then there is msci index then then nakai uh, which is a Japanese index, Hang Seng, which is of Hong Kong, FTSE, which is of London index, DAX, which is German index, and CAC, which is a French index, right? So, uh, very important world indices, which you need to take care on daily basis. So, before beginning trading, say, uh, early morning, you just, just, just take a look of the, how this ind indices perform, right? So, if there are too many sentiments uh, affected in the world indices obviously avoid trading on such per, uh, such days so so why do we need indices so so uh, we need indices just to represent the sentiment and what investors are doing and also the comparison like suppose you invested the money so what market has given you given the return and what returns you have got right have you bypassed the market returns right so so comparing your performances and um, and other factors and other your strategy so it could be passive investment or active investment so it is basically uh, one of the parameter if if only you invest in the stocks that are listed on the exchange uh, on the index not listed but on the index calculator okay so that becomes a strategy so how that has performed right and their representation of other parameters like investor sentiment how the economy is doing so it reflects lot of things uh, uh, which which are very necessary for taking an investment decision so that is that is the reason why we need the stock indexes right so so for equity trading so there are also commodity indexes and other indexes right uh, so and so very two major indexes in india are sensex and nifty right so sensex is made up of 30 stocks right 30 company stocks so these companies are selected based on their performance previous performance how they are doing what their market capitalization is then how good uh, trading uh, trading uh, level is there like buying and selling of that particular stock so uh, like here you can say sensex is currently at 32000 its previous close was this so 32037 open so open so, so Open price is nothing but where the Sensex opened on that particular day and what was the high it made. It made a high of 32,109.75 and then the low. So always you will be seeing this open high low and close right. So so it is down 16.63. What does it mean? 
so it declined from uh, points from its previous close so if it would have been increased from its previous close the market would have been in green right so if it decreases from its previous close it will be in red right so similarly coming to nifty nifty is made up of 50 stocks nifty is considered to be very good in terms of because it has 50 stocks and very good companies only 1600 companies are listed in nifty out of which 50 has been used to calculate the nifty 50 on bombay stock exchange more than around 5000 stocks are listed in bombay stock exchange similarly the index current change open high low close is similar to what is uh, sensex right then there are sectoral indexes so why sectoral uh, uh, sectoral indexes is necessary suppose you have uh, you want to invest in tata motors so what are you going to see you are going to see the auto index of nifty or uh, sensex right uh, if you want to invest in marico itc so you are going to see fmcg if you want to say invest in infosys tcs so you are going to see nifty it index so nifty 50 and nifty sensex are basically very broad in terms of so uh, when it boils down to your investment when you want to take an investment decision you need to go into sectoral sectoral purpose right so banks pharma metal it fmcg bank auto oil and gas power so there are a lot of indexes and but the uh, the sectors are limited right so whenever you will be investing in a stock do always take care that you go and see that sectors index okay so so coming to the uh, calculation how it is calculated so uh, nifty or other than the global stock exchange fitc uh, SNP are also calculated using uh, free float market capitalization method. Okay, so coming to this point, so uh, this is again I am telling you this is not imp uh, as important for trading decisions, but just in uh, knowledge purpose I am sharing this. So you need to calculate the free float market capitalization at any point of time. What that is the uh, capitalization of the index that is the value what is Sensex right now. So what you will do. You will take the total market capitalization that is your uh, inactive and active shares multiplied your sh multiplied by your share price and then the base va base market value. So what is this base market value? So whenever the index might have started, so they decide a certain base that okay this is our base and from here how the index has been performing or has been raised right so for sensex it has been chosen as 1978-79 for nifty it has been chosen as 1995 okay nifty started in 1994 though it was established in 1992 but it uh, came into rolling and started trading shares in 1994 okay uh, so the index value is calculated by total market capitalization based on the base market capitalization value that is that the market capitalization uh, in 1978-79 and base index value this value is what was the value of the index in 1978-79 that is basically 100 uh, at certain uh, point of time sorry base market value is 100 okay so this is how sensex and nifty are calculated okay uh, don't get into much intricacies of how all this calculation take place but do uh, do take care of how you can use these indexes in trading okay so if you have any queries please write down to me on investtransresearch at gmail.com and please do like share comment on this video do subscribe to our youtube channel and also like our facebook page invest trans research thank you for watching this video this was from invest trans research making investment decisions better thank you